So we're gonna get all these out. Freaking Southern Pine Beetle just bit me. They're really bad out here. They're eating people. Timber. We're here in the middle of a war zone. This is what is called a hot spot. Now this war zone isn't between people. This is between beetles and pine trees. This is an old growth loblolly pine forest. And a pine forest that has a southern pine beetle infestation. Oh no, I got a dead pine tree. I'll just go ahead and cut it down and cut down any around it. That is not the correct approach to this problem. The first step to this problem is to identify the pest. Make sure you're dealing with the southern pine beetle. Don't just assume. We need to chisel a section of the dead bark away from the cambium layer of the tree to expose the galleries where the larvae are creating their channels that they live in. Then you'll know for sure what beetles are living in your tree and you'll be able to access the area where they're breeding. So there's many types of beetles and the shape and design of the galleries will give you your best advice on which beetles you're dealing with. Let's look at the galleries. Each beetle leaves its own distinct gallery. The large galleries are created from the, turpentine, so from the beetle, turpentine beetle, which is the largest of the pine beetles. This is what the turpentine beetle looks like. Next, we have the Ipsen graver beetles, and their distinct markers are primarily vertical and horizontal engraving patterns. Their channels are much smaller than the turpentine beetle, and the beetle itself is much smaller as well. Lastly, the nightmare of all nightmares, the southern pine beetle. The southern pine beetle is a truly destructive pest. It can wipe out a whole forest of loblolly pines. One way to know for sure if your trees may be getting pine beetles is to look for the pitch tubes. Pitch tubes are the tree's resistance to beetles. Beetles bore in, the pine tree has internal pressure, and secretes sap in order to push the beetles out of their homes and avoid any further damage to their tissues. Once you have pine beetles, it's really hard to get rid of them. Sometimes it's better to just get rid of the tree itself. Now, once the beetle lays its larva, the larvae then turn into new beetles which leave the host tree and seek out new trees to lay more larva. So, the best action is to prevent the beetles from ever coming. First, realize if your trees are under stress. Stressed trees are more susceptible to pine beetles. For instance, this pine looks healthy until you look at the other side and you'll see a giant lightning strike down it. Now, a tree that's been hit by lightning loses internal pressure due to sap, le sap leaking out. Now, when the sap leaks out, it creates a more favorable environment for beetles and other insects to bore in and lay their larva and then continue to spread. So if you see something like this, you need to get rid of the tree. You see a dead pine tree from pine beetles. Now these pine trees are really affected by pine beetle. Um, it's a fast spreading problem. It, uh, it's a contagious problem. It will affect any weakened pine trees. If you have a dead pine tree and can't find something traumatic like a lightning strike and you suspect that it could be pine beetles pull a section of the bark off and look for those small diameter curved like S-shaped galleries inside where the larvae are boring. That will indicate if you have the southern pine beetle. If you have the southern pine beetle, you'll want to eradicate that tree, check the surrounding trees for pitch tubes, and treat any additional trees in order to stop the spread and keep this from becoming an outbreak. What's that? You say you want to know more about southern pine beetles. Okay, well when southern pine beetles bore into the pine tree, they're not what actually kills the pine tree. The southern pine beetle is a vector, a vector that transmits a blue stained fungi. The blue stained fungi clogs the vascular system of the pine tree, eventually killing it. The first beetles to attack a pine tree determine if the tree is weakened. Once they found a susceptible tree, they release a chemical known as frontalin. Frontalin tells the other beetles to attack. Once enough beetles have attacked and the tree succumbs to the injuries and the blue stained fungi, the beetles then release a hormone called verbenone. And that tells the beetles to stop attacking this tree 
and move on to the next. Press that like button and subscribe. I post new videos every week. Go back and check out some of my previous videos. I recommend The Tree Life so you can get a feel for the kind of stuff we do every day. As always, press that like button and God bless. Don't forget to subscribe. The link is just below.